everyone doing today? Well, it looks like Chris and I are going to start our deconstruction of our Christmas decor with the big Christmas tree here. So I'm gonna go get my tripod and I'm gonna get my phone set up and see if I can maybe put us into a little fast motion uh, as we put this beautiful tree away. I'm almost sad. I'm usually not sad. I'm usually not sad to put it away. But this year I am. We worked so hard on it and have really enjoyed it this year. Have really, really, really enjoyed it. I have. And, uh, but it's time. We're getting close to the new year. So, Chris brought up the bins, a couple of bins here, and uh, the tree box, because this tree gets totally deconstructed. So the tree will go back in the box, and I think we might have one more bin that we need to bring up. So, uh, and that's all we're gonna do today, is just the tree, I believe. And then I am going to sit down, and I'm going to do a little haul, I'm gonna show you a couple of Christmas presents, not anything major, and I'm gonna answer a question. So, I'll be back with a little bit of footage of us taking this tree down. left to take off is the topper and the last ornament as I've told you guys the first ornament to go on and the last ornament to come off is this little fairy of Chris's so he will take her off the tree I don't do that he does that and then we'll start taking the beads off and then <laughs> deconstructing the pretty lights and eventually getting that topper off of there so I'll show you everything when it's all packed up, and then I'll be back at my kitchen table to talk with y'all a little bit. All right, be right back. Before I sit down, I wanted to show you this kimono. A lot of you asked me about where I got this when you saw my video and saw my picture in there. And I got this at Torrid. It is a high-low and it is lovely. It's got velvet around the collar and around the, this is my turtleneck, and around the sleeves, it's three-quarter length sleeves and it is comfortable as all get out, and I absolutely enjoyed wearing it. I felt pretty, if I can feel pretty, I feel very heavy and not so pretty right now. <laughs> but I did on Christmas Eve, I felt pretty. It, would, it worked out well for pictures and all that stuff. So anyway, I thought I would show this to you uh, on me in person so that you guys would know. I'll give you a link in the description if it is still available, okay? All right, let me get myself in my seat here and I'll be right back and we'll get started. Okie dokie, you guys, here I am. And let me just say, hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit more of this and a little bit more of that. 
<laughs> As you saw, and Chris is still working on, we took the Christmas tree down. I just put the ornaments away pretty much and took a few things off. Chris is now wrestling with the lights, the twinkly lights that we had on the inside. And he had them wrapped all the way around the center of the tree. And then he brought them out and he wrapped them around the outside of the tree too. So it is quite the job. I asked if he needed help. He said, no, it's a one man job. <laughs> he said, go ahead and do your video. And I said, okay, I will. So if you hear rustling and whatnot over there, it's Chris fighting with that tree, let me tell you. So, uh, but it is gonna be down by the end of the day and it will be completely put away. In the coming days, I will continue on with my deconstruction. What I can video for you, I will. I know a lot of you have been calling for me to do a deconstruction video. You guys, it takes me more than one day to deconstruct this house. So as I come to you with videos, sorry, that's my texting here. As I come to you with videos, I will add maybe some deconstructing you know, footage in, or I might come back with just a complete deconstruction, you know, video later in the week. I'm not going to be back on a schedule, so to speak, uh, for a little while yet. In fact, I might not put myself on a schedule. I know that you guys would like, I know I used to put them up Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, but I felt like I pigeonholed myself a little bit with doing that, and I think I would rather put them up as I finish them, like I did with my Vlogmas videos, and even my video, you know, kind of toward the end of my my Christmas decor series, I kind of was just putting videos up kind of same day or as soon as I could get them edited and up. And that's probably what I'll do moving forward for the new year because it, it was easier for me and I didn't feel like I needed to wait, you know, to put a video up. And I don't want to wait. I want to go ahead and get you the footage, even if we go a couple of days or two, three days between videos as I'm working and as I'm preparing for the next one, I would like to get them up closer to, as close to real time as I can. So with that said, you saw the tree and what goes in the tree, I don't know, I've, for those of you who've been with me for a while, I always said that, for those of you who've been with me for a while, <laughs> well, first of all, I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas. I've been hearing from a lot of you and uh, yes, our Christmas was different and, uh, but just as wonderful and I was felt very blessed that we got to see our kids and little Maverick and uh, we had a wonderful Christmas. It was different, uh, but just as, you know, you make it what it is, you know? You do the best you can with the situation that we're in, right? And that's exactly what we did. So I feel very blessed that we were able to do what we did and spend some time with our kids and then Dustin's family too. So it was a wonderful Christmas. Uh, I, but. Uh, as we move on here, and before we, Chris takes the last bin downstairs from the Christmas tree, this is what I always put in the Christmas tree, in with the Christmas tree. So when we set up the Christmas tree next year, we'll be able to read about what was happening in 2020. How could we ever forget what happened in 2020? So I have got cards here. I started writing them in 1997, and I've got cards for every year when we take the Christmas tree down and things that were happening that had happened in that year. So this year, <clears throat> last year, of course, was Maverick. You know, that was the big, the big announcement for last year. No baby announcements this year. <laughs> so I think Candace might faint. <laughs> uh, but this is what I wrote for uh, today, December the 29th, 2020. I wrote our ages and a little maverick is six months 2020 cruises australia three day new zealand 13 day then we visited with our friends barb and dawn in la then we did a panama canal full transit from la to florida and literally cruised home we arrived home from our cruise on march 5th uh, the covid 19 virus first of all the covid 19 virus paralyzed the world we arrived home from our cruise on March 15th to a 30-day self-quarantine. Social distancing, wash hands, stay home, stay safe, still troubling the world here in December. Then uh, Maverick James, born June 26, 2020, 20 inches long, 8.35 a.m. He is the brightest light of the year. 
We cannot wait to ring in 2021. Whoop, whoop. So that is what I wrote for this year. And it will go right in the pile. And we can look back and it's like a little journal. We can look back every year and read through them. It's fun, you know, to read through them. Sometimes it's not fun because there's years like 2013 is the year that we lost my mom. And, you know, so, but good and bad. That's life, and that's what we, we put in here. So this will go right on top of the ornaments in the ornament box, and I'll pull it out first thing next year when we go to decorate this big tree, because this is the family tree, as you all know. So let me take a moment here, too, to thank you guys. I've got, I might have 90,000, you guys. Oh, my gracious. 90,000 views on my Christmas home tour. That is by far the most views I've ever had on a video. That, I feel so touched that that many people wanted to watch it or that many times that video was clicked on to watch. So for those of you who have watched that video, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I worked hard on it. I mean, y'all know I worked hard. We, Chris and I both did. We both did. So anyway, let's move on. I want to share... Uh, it was not a big Christmas for us this year. We didn't give a lot, and we re and I received some very special things that I want to tell you about here. First, though, I want to show you a gift that, that Dustin gave Chris. Now, Dustin has a 3D printer. Don't ask me. It's This is the material that he prints with, and y'all aren't going to guess what this is. But I get a text the night before Christmas Eve. Mom, can't, it's Candace. Mom, I said, what? <laughs> she said, can you do Dustin a favor? I said, anything for Dustin, what can I do? She said, P pick out your favorite picture of dad with Mav and uh, print it out in wallet size. I said, okay, I can do that. So this is the picture I picked because it's one of my favorite, excuse my nails, I need to do my nails, pardon me, I'll tuck that behind. Uh, but there's Chris with Mav in that cute picture. <laughs> I love it. And what Dustin did, this is a maze puzzle. Arlen, can you take that apart for us? No, I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> Chris loves to do puzzles. And Candace's deal is every Christmas she gets him a puzzle, she challenges him every year, you know. And I have no idea how it comes apart. I have no idea. I, I can get it kind of that far. Well, there you can see. And I guess if you turn it, it's like a maze. You can see the maze in there. And, and in the middle, when Chris finally got it all the way opened and apart, it's like, how many parts is like, like three or four, three parts, three different parts in this puppy. I mean, this is, it was, you know, good for Dustin for thinking of this, huh? But what he did is he rolled this up. He rolled it up and he tucked it down in the middle. And Chris, that was his prize when he got to the end of this puzzle. So isn't, huh? Four parts. If there are four parts to this puzzle. Oh my goodness. So this was tucked down in the middle, you know, rolled up really tightly and tucked down in the middle. And he, when he got to the middle, he got to Lil Mav. Wasn't that sweet? Oh my goodness. I was so touched. Of course, I'm sitting there like, ah, you know, oh, that's such a sweet gift, you know. So good for Dustin for coming up with that. I can't get it put back all the way back down. I'm going to set it over here. <laughs> but I thought that was one of the, that was without a doubt the most creative gift of the, you know, of all of Christmas. Uh, I got gift cards from my kids this year, which are awesome, and I love them, and what is what I ask for. Uh, I got Hobby Lobby. I got um, a Visa uh, gift card, too, and an Amazon gift card. So I was, like, thrilled with that. And then Kristen got me a couple of things here, just little extras. Uh, little key ring, little key ring, isn't that cute? I don't know where she got this stuff, you guys. And then this, she had a little Burt's Bee, you know. Whoa, oh, come here. Burt's Bee, uh, you know, lip balm in it. But I think I my lipstick will fit in there. You know, so that would be cute to hang on my purse. So, I'm, you know, I'm always digging for my lipstick. 
So she got me this, this uh, pattern, which is like pit berries. It almost looks like pit berries. And then she got me this one, whoa, -oh, with all kinds of different uh, ways to attach things onto my purse because I always have like a, I've got a scarf hanging off of my purse. Sometimes I've got little hearts and I love things. I like purse charms. I think purse charms are really pretty and I love them. So she got me another key ring and roses, pink roses, one of my favorite flowers. And she got me a little, little toggle, you know, fasteners so that I could choose which way I wanted to, you know, hang them on my purse. And then she got me this which is, guess what? Boop! A little hand sanitizer. Who doesn't need hand sanitizer this year, huh? Perfect, couldn't have been better. So that's what she got me, and then she got me gift cards, which I love. And I've already got, you some, to, got to show you something that I purchased with their gift cards. And I've got a plan of what I'm gonna do with it, so I'm gonna tell you about that here in a minute. Then I have a few, before I go on to my kid, what my kids got me, I wanted to share, I have a few cards here from, um, oh, baloney, I forgot to get Bobby's gift. Bobby sent me a gift. I got to show you that too. Oh my goodness, wait, y'all see that. Uh, but I did get a couple of cards in the mail yesterday. Uh, heartfelt wishes for a wonderful holiday season and a happy new year. Uh, this is from our sweet lady friend, uh, Kim, over there at Sweet Daisy Creations. And uh, ditto, sweetie, what you wrote. Ditto. I love you to pieces. Love you, love you, love you. Mwah. Thank you so much for your card, honey. Absolutely beautiful with the cardinal. I failed big time. I did not mail out cards this year at all. Oh my goodness, can y'all believe it? Why well, don't, I haven't mailed out Christmas cards, but I did send her one and Danielle one. I also got a little something from Danielle. I tried to find it. It's over here in my desk somewhere, Danielle. I've got it. <laughs> I will find it. Oh my goodness. Uh, anyway, this one is another one, Season's Greetings. And this was from Cynthia. This is from Cynthia. Thank you so much, Cynthia. Is that not beautiful? Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much for the cards. I appreciate them so much. And now, let me go get Bobby's gift, what she got me, and then I'll tell you that, and then I'll go on to show you what uh, the girls made for me. Candace, it was Candace's year to make up my calendar that I get every year and I'll, as I'm going to get this gift from Bobby, I'll let you think about what might, what you think might be on the calendar this year, since I no longer have pups. Hmm, be right back. Okie dokie, I wanted to show you what Bobby gave me. She gave me this beautiful card and her package came beautifully wrapped inside another box with a bow that she had made. It's absolutely beautiful. And she wrote me a beautiful card and a beautiful note that are just is just for me. But she sent my family a card and then a little note to me privately. She's so sweet, y'all. Bobby at perpetualribbons.com. And she gave me a very special gift. She says that I helped her a lot through this past year. I didn't necessarily, but you guys did. You guys did. Uh, because this year, I she said I helped her, but I... You all helped her. When I mentioned her, you guys went and you purchased. Of course, I did my share of purchasing. <laughs> That's for sure. But I appreciate you guys taking the taking you know my advice and trusting uh, what I said about the ribbon. And I didn't steer you wrong, huh, on that ribbon. It's beautiful ribbon. But anyway, here, here comes this gift. This is Jim Shore Woodland. Look at this beautiful Jim Shore Santa. Is this not the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen? Wow, wow, wow. I already have it sitting out by the blue tree and that's where it's gonna sit, you know, until I take that tree down and then this will be very carefully and gingerly and lovingly put away till next year, y'all. 
but isn't he gorgeous? Oh my goodness, look at the detail. Just absolutely gorgeous, heavy little dude. It's like Father Christmas with all of his woodland creatures. This is my favorite. I love the woodland creature series with Jim Shore and I am going to cherish this. Absolutely cherish this. Thank you so much, Bobby. Thank you so, 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 so much, Bobby. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I will cherish that for many, 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 many years to come. Okay, uh, back to some of, one more gift that I got. By the way, Chris and I decided that my iPhone, which was a chunk of change that I got right before Christmas, for those of you who have been with me all through the series, uh, know my sound apparently is much, much better. My picture quality is much, much better. But this was my Christmas present that I'm, ta I'm talking on it right now, you know. And so that was my major Christmas present. And we both chose a gift like that. And that's what we got each other. So that was my gift this year. And then I get a calendar every year. And you all have seen them. They hang in, in my laundry room. And this year, it was Candace's turn to make it. And look who the star of the show on the calendar is. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Maverick James. Oh, my land. The seasons of Squish. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Squish is his nickname. And I don't know that I can get through this, but I want to show it to you. So this little, this little being is our blessing this year. You know he is our blessing. There he is for January. How cute is he? He's six months old. He turned six months old on the 26th. There he is with my dad. <laughs> oh, here he is in March. Got my hair there. <laughs> Look at him. Here he is with his dogs. This is Valentino, or V, and this is a Pearl. She's still a puppy. And little Mav, they love him. Oh my goodness, he loves them. May. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's so cute. She did have some writing on some of them. Here we go, here he was as a newborn with Dustin and Candace and little Mav. And this is these are his statistics. Oh my goodness. So cute. And July. Look, look. <laughs> That's the one I picked for the for the puzzle, as a matter of fact. Look at that. Look at that little face. Oh, so cute. We go with August. And she's got something written here. Grandparents are voices of the past. <sighs> Grandparents are voices of the past and the door to the future. They provide us with the wisdom from a lifetime of experience that should never be undervalued. How did I have such a thoughtful kid? Both of my girls are like that. Oh my goodness. Here's September. October. <laughs> and November. This is I heard Mr. Turkey say gobble, gobble, gobble. Soon will be Thanksgiving Day. Gobble, gobble, gobble. People say that it doesn't, she has different words. People say it is much fun, but I think I'll run and run and hide until the day is done. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Cute, huh? November and 
December. <laughs> that was just a few weeks ago. Looking at the tree, is that cute? Oh my goodness. And then she says, the light in a child's eyes is all it takes to make Christmas a magical time of the year. So cute. And that's it. Oh my goodness. I was good to go when I opened this. Oh, I love it. But anyway, that will go in. And when I'm done with the calendar, because I write dates and stuff on my calendar all the time, the calendar gets taken down and it gets put in my cedar chest, my hope chest, my cedar chest. And I have calendars for many, 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 many years. So it's another kind of sentimental thing I do, you know, with my calendars. So we are going to watch Maverick grow in that calendar for next year. I'll tell you one thing. Okay, so... uh that's all I wanted to talk about with the gifts. I did want to talk about gifts I gave, a couple that I gave that didn't get here until after Christmas. Thank you very much. But I have the opportunity to show them to you before I take them to my kids. Uh, <clears throat> if y'all have seen Maverick in his little hat here, check it out. Is he not the cutest little thing in that hat? I said, Candace, where did you get that hat? And she said she got it from I'm in the Loop. It's an Etsy page. I'm in the Loop. Now, she's taking a break right now, the lady uh, who owns that shop. I think I she think will she be coming back by the first of the year. And I got everybody a hat. I got Besties. Kristen a hat. I got Candace and Maverick a hat. And I got myself a hat. <laughs> so check it out. This is mine. I'm not going to put it on. But it is so cute. Look, look, look. Oh, my gosh. These are the prettiest little hats <clears throat> and she does have a little tab on it there that says I'm in the loop look at the pom-poms you can you can order the color of thread or color of yarn excuse me and you can order your color of pom-pom she gives you all kinds of choices all kinds of different choices but these and she makes them in child size and different sizes too I believe uh, for newborns and then three to six months something like that you'll have to check but she does, she does make them for that. Uh, this is the one I got for Kristen, just gray with a, with a beautiful pom-pom. Look at that pom-pom. Oh my goodness, is that not pretty? And it is a beautiful gray. I mean, this lady does, her work is superb. Absolutely superb. So I'm in the loop. And then I got Candace and Mav hats to match. Yes, I did. Here's Mavs. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. And Kristen got him blue, a blue Sherpa coat. And uh, then she got him a blue Sherpa vest too. And I think he's got some blue overalls. Oh my gracious. And then I got Candace a hat to match little Maverick so they can match. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. So I thought you guys might like to see these hats. I highly encourage you. The, the workmanship, again, is unsurpassed. Uh, again, I love to, uh, she's in Canada. She's, she lives in Canada and it did, that's why I think because uh, these hats got stuck at the border for, I mean, I ordered them in plenty of time, but they got stuck at the border, you know, and guess who we're gonna blame or what we're gonna blame? We're gonna blame the COVID because, you know, I don't know why they got stuck there, but they were stuck there for like a week, y'all. They came on December the 26th. Yes, they did, 27th. No, 26th, 26th. They came on the 26th. Anyway, they'll have a little gift after Christmas, right? Who doesn't need a little gift after Christmas? <laughs> so, Maverick had a wonderful little Christmas. He got toys, he got books, he got clothes. He got a lot of clothes because, but he did get some toys that he was playing with and uh, interactive toys, toys that, you know, we're all into, you know, what's gonna help with his hand-eye coordination and, you know, shapes and putting sh different shapes and different, hole, you know, holes. And we got him a little xylophone that's off key. Candace went, well, she has one and she keeps playing it and it's off key and she's very musical. Our whole family is very musical, but Candace is very, very musical. And she goes, mom, listen to the scale. She got it home and she opened it up and she said, da, 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 da. I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It is off key. 
So I don't know whether Chris can fix it or not, or somehow tune it, which, you know, we might bring it here and see if he can fix it. And I'm like, really? Are you kidding me? It was like Fisher Price or something. I don't know. But I was like, I was disappointed in that. Also, we have one more gift coming from my dad. My dad wanted to buy him, if I can get a picture of it, I'll put it here, something nice. He said, spend $100 on him, Arlen. And get him something that Candace and Dustin would like him to have. So I ordered this thing way back in November, early November, you guys. It is still not here. It broke my heart to tell my dad that. Although Maverick may not have been able to pull himself up quite yet, although he's working on it. He's working on crawling. He's up on his knees. He's rocking. He's ready to move. I'm telling you, that little kid, he's going to be moving and shaking sooner than I, I think that Candace and Dustin are ready for. <laughs> uh, but it's a little interactive, as you can see, stand-up walker thing or go and then he can do this and that and the other thing with. It's a really cool little tool toy. And I got an email again this morning. This is from Creighton Kids. Creighton Kids, that y'all know, it's, it's good quality. And we're hanging in and we're waiting for it. Chris and Candace said, I would rather have that if it can ever get here than some other, something else. And I said, okay. So we're just waiting on it. And it's early January. Now it was the end of Dece December. I got that like the 20th. <sighs> Kill me now. You know, what do you do? It's the COVID. What do you do? You just do your best. And we're walking through it with grace. Isn't that what I said? I wasn't real graceful when I got that email. I have to tell you guys, I was not real graceful at all. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, that's dad's gift to him. You know, and you want, I wouldn't have cared if it was for me, but I cared that it was from my dad, you know? Anyway, my dad, of course, was a trooper and he was like, it's okay. He's going to get it. It's okay. And I'm like, I know, but I, Arlen, it's okay. I'm like, oh, <laughs> you know. Anyway, all right, so that's it for Christmas. I wanted to show you what I went over to the, what I got at the Minuteman Mini Mall over there in Culpeper, Virginia. I went in there and I went looking for something specific. I want a new, you know, I have that long box and that I'll probably pull back out for spring. But I wanted to do something a little bit different on my island. Y'all know, I, I mean, I always like to do different things and that big long box that Chris made me, garden box that Chris made me, I'll either put somewhere else in my decor as I redecorate or, or it will come back out and maybe we'll do an Easter, you know, centerpiece with that or something and really bling it up really, really, really nicely on the island. But for the months of January and February, I wanted something different. So I took my Amazon card and I ordered myself a tray and some hydrangeas in blue and a creamy white and a two, two or three tiered dish. I'll put it here. I'll show you them when they come in. And then, and, and the tray is big. It's like 20 inches long, I think, by 14 inches wide. So it's a big tray. So I wanted something to go in white or, or in a farmhousey white to go on the island. And then I went over to the Minuteman Mini Mall looking for something. And I didn't know what I was looking for. I didn't know what I wanted for it. But I knew I wanted something, you know, to go in with this tray design. So... This is what I found. All of this that I'm fixing to show you was $30. And they packed it up really well for me. You all know I'm going to be decorating, redecorating back into my blue and white decor, cottage decor. Is that not beautiful? That is cobalt blue, if you can't tell. A cobalt blue pitcher. It is really heavy really, really heavy, but isn't that pretty? So I thought this would sit on one side, the two tier tray on the two or three tier tray on the other. I think it's three tiered actually, or somehow hydrangeas in here. Then I also have five, five cups, five glasses to go with this. Whether I'll put the glasses on the tray, I don't know. But I'll see, you know, when I come up, what I come up with when I go to create it. But here are the glasses. 
Are they not beautiful? Look at this, this whole set for $30, which I thought was a good deal. I have no idea who it's from. I just, when I saw it, I knew it was perfect. I knew it was perfect for what I wanted to use it for. It's heavy, this thing is heavy. But anyway, so stay tuned for that centerpiece. I think that's gonna be absolutely gorgeous when I get to that. I'm not gonna open every glass up, but there's four more like that. And I could put, why couldn't I put the, you know, the pitcher on and then line two or three or four or five glasses, you know, kind of set them in front of it. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know what I'll do, but I love it. And I thought, oh my goodness, I couldn't find anything more perfect than that. Cause I was looking for something in blue, you know? So there we go. Okay, now, I have one question that I wanna go ahead and answer. And feel free to ask me more questions, you guys. Uh, I will answer this. I, I had one of you ask if I was gonna show my basement. My basement is something that I very rarely show, you guys. I got raked over the coals one time when I showed my basement. Uh, and I have no desire to be raked over the coals again uh, because of, of my storage area. And it's not that it's that huge. It's not that it takes up that much room, but I do have a lot of bins down there and they are labeled and whatnot. I may show you just where the Christmas stuff goes, but uh, maybe when we're all done, but I don't know whether I will because I, I really, I'm really not gonna set myself up for um, nastiness to come back my way, you guys. So I don't know that I will do that. Just know that there is a space in my basement that holds, that is the holder of all of my Christmas decor. But let me tell you here, let's see. Okay, I have one question. This is from Terry Watson. I have a question, Arlen. With all of the Christmas decorations you have, do you find yourself dreading the task of taking it down, packing it up and putting it away? I have so much and toward the end of the season, I almost find myself getting a bit jittery over it all. <laughs> do I get jittery, honey? Anxious, yes. <laughs> I'm kind of a minimalist, except at Christmas when more is more. Also, regarding that question of warming up a room with cool colors, I feel like plants and soft surface things, pillows, throws, fabrics will definitely help. I agree with you there. I'm not a big plant person, only because I kill them. Chris has a green thumb like no other, and we enjoy his plants outside. But we, Candace and Dustin have a ton of plants, and he's got a really green thumb. And he and Chris ought to work together. They could make a beautiful garden, let me tell you. They really could. So, uh, but I do not have a green thumb, and so. But anyway, I, have, uh, I do get jittery, Terry. <laughs> I do. As a matter of fact, I woke up this morning. I, I'll be honest with you guys. I have been so tired after Christmas. I said this in my group yesterday. I have, I have on my Facebook group. If you haven't joined and want to, feel free to do that. There's always a link in the description to our Lynn's Country Craft Corner and Travels on Facebook. Lovely group, no negativity, no nastiness, just lots of pretty decor, pretty things to look at from a lot of different lovely, lovely ladies and gentlemen in there. Also, I talk about travels in there sometimes too. So I, I, it covers it all. So if you'd like to join, feel free to join that. But uh, yes, 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 I do get antsy. I do get uh, to the point where, I, as I said at the beginning of the video, I really have enjoyed, really and truly have enjoyed this year's Christmas decorating. Uh, Chris and I both, as I've given him, you know, kudos all over the place for this decor, he really, really, really helped me this year. Uh, made a difference that he's, you know, he's been retired for three or four, four years now. Maybe this is his fourth Christmas. I don't know. But for whatever reason, we were, we really worked as a team. And, and I'm telling you, my dad, even to the point where he said, you know, Arlen, he said, you need to decorate just like this, just like you did this year, every year or next year, if, if I host, you know, our family celebration. So... I don't know. We'll see, but I love it. So I don't, I don't, you know, it's a double-edged sword, y'all. I, I, in a way, I'm ready. I'm ready to get it all down. I'm ready to get it put away, and it is a daunting task. And that's what, that's why I say to put it on video on top of me taking it all down, it, it, that's almost a Herculean task, y'all, honestly. Uh, and I have slept, I, yesterday, I pretty much slept the day away. I kept falling asleep. 
Chris and I ran over to the Culpeper Mini Mall. I fell asleep on the way there. I sat down and I was trying to choose some things to, to, uh, to buy with a gift card I got. I fell asleep in my chair. Uh, we watched a movie. I fell asleep. I kept falling asleep in and out, in and out, in and out. And finally at 11 o'clock last night, I just went, forget it. I'm, I was falling asleep watching whatever I was trying to watch on TV then. I was like, forget it. I'm going to bed. And I slept almost eight hours. That is unheard of for me. I don't sleep eight hours, y'all. I sleep six to seven, you know, a night and I'm good to go. But phew, I was so stinking tired. From, yes, all the running around and the hubbub of Christmas, but also from everything that I did before Christmas. And do, I put up a video, as you all know, every day. You know, and I did not get burned out. I loved it. I loved it. But I did get tired. I think I was t more tired than I realized. <laughs> and I needed just a couple of days just to phew, kind of chill. So, anyway, I'm rambling. But, yes, Terry, I do get antsy. I'm ready to get this down. I will be working on this in the days coming, you know, uh, the coming days. And, uh We'll get her done. And then we'll start redecorating in my blue and white cottage decor. And as you can see, I already have one new idea. I don't know if I'll come up with a lot of others just because I have a lot of the stuff that I want to reuse and I don't want to go out and buy a bunch. But this was a gift from my kids. So, you know, I wanted to utilize this, that money to go in something that I'm going to put back in the house. And then I can say, look, kids, you guys help me buy this set, you know. And you guys will see that around the house moving forward. So anyway, all right, that's it for this one, I think, you guys. Uh, I don't know when my next one will be coming up. My next video will be coming up, nor do I know what will be in it. <laughs> Keep asking questions, though, because I can always add your questions. Uh, do a QA and a and then, you know, whatever else moving forward until I get my house situated and in a place where I can start to redecorate. Then we will start to redecorate in earnest and get this house. It's going to take us the month of January, I, at least, y'all, at least the month of January, probably partly into February, to get this house redecorated and into some semblance of a normal-looking, cohesive blue and white cottage decor throughout this main level. So stick with me. We've got lots to do, lots of decorating to to come, lots of chit-chatting to do, chitting and chatting with Arlen, lots of whatever else might come down the pike. I'm ready for 2021. If I don't come back before the new year, I may, I don't know, but if I don't, happy new year, happy, happy new year, you'll be hearing me whooping and hollering over here come midnight on December the 31st. I've never been so anxious to say goodbye to a year in my life. <laughs> Let's get 2020 in the rear view, huh? And let's move on to 2021. And we're going to have faith that 2021 is going to bring brighter days ahead for all of us, for the world, right? So, all righty. With all that said, let me go into my final words and say, I hope that all is well with everyone. For those of you who've been struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Where the tree was. Left a mess on the floor. This is linked in my Amazon shop if y'all are at all interested. This is, we have the I3. I also have an I7 one linked that maps things. We didn't even know it existed, but this little thing learns. It does learn its way around. So, and it does a good job. Look at it. <laughs>